Hey y'all, today we're gonna be making a chicken tortellini soup in our crock pot. Oh, we're having a whole lot of fun. Look at that. Oh yeah. Hi, and welcome back to another edition of Cooking Chris's Dishes with the Good Old Boy, where we're cooking up dishes from RecipesThatCrock.com, my beautiful wife's cooking blog. And y'all, today we're gonna be making soup. Why are we making soup? Because it's starting to get cold outside. Now, I think this week it's actually going to climb back into the 70s, but I think that's probably summer's final breath of life, and then it's going to start getting cold. Uh, I played a show on Saturday night, and it got cold quick, and I was not prepared. And I was thinking to myself, other than keep playing songs and making tips, I sure would like to have some soup when I got home. And this is the kind of soup that I'd like to have because I love chicken, I love tortellini, and you put them together, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna like it too. This is a recipe that Aunt Lou has made. I have not even tried this, so you and me, we're making this together to see if we like it. And here's what you need. Already in my slow cooker, I've got about a pound and a half of cubed, thawed chicken. Now we're using chicken thighs because we're a thigh family. If you wanna use breasts, have at it. If you wanna use chicken tenders, have at it. If you want to take all that time and separate the bones from the wings, all right, weirdo, whatever you want to do, but you want a pound and a half of thawed chicken, not frozen. You want to make sure it's thawed. And then also you want to have one bag, and this is 19 ounces of cheese tortellini. Uh, this has got ricotta, mozzarella, and romano cheeses in it, and you want to make sure that is thawed. And the reason is you're going to put raw chicken in there that is already thawed. If you put these in there at frozen, then you've really got to bring these up to temperature and get them thawed out, which means it's possible you're not going to get your chicken cooked all the way through because this is only a two-hour recipe. So do yourself a favor, do it right, do it safe, thaw out your tortellini. All I did was I put this in a bowl and let some water run through it. By convection, it thawed out really quick. You also want to have, and I, this is where I have to look at the recipe because I have not done this before, is you want to have one teaspoon of dried basil, you want to have two cloves of garlic minced. Now, you could always mash up uh, a fresh clove of garlic. Of course, you know, right here we use freeze-dried, and we like more. So I'm using about a tablespoon and a half of freeze-dried garlic. And then you also want to have one teaspoon of oregano, and that's going to give it that really good Italian taste. And then you also want to have salt and pepper to taste, if you wish, as well as two cans of cream of mushroom soup and two boxes. That is 64 ounces, two 32-ounce boxes cans, whatever you got, containers of chicken broth. And I know there's some people in here, we've got a huge family on the crock posse, and a lot of y'all don't like mushrooms. You're gonna say, Mikey, what can I do if I don't like mushrooms? And I'm gonna say, use cream of chicken soup. That's gonna work just as good. I like mushrooms, so I'm happy to do this. So in my pot, I already have my chicken. I've already got it all cubed up, because what me, you're watching me cube up chicken. That was not a good idea. Watching me cube up chicken is boring. Watching me blow tortellini all over the kitchen, not so boring, I guess. Oh my. So anyway, once you have accumulated all your tortellini, I'm not gonna go with that five second rule on the floor. We're just gonna leave that there. I think the dog might like that. You take your bag of tortellini that you've mostly gotten taken care of there, and that goes straight into the slow cooker. Oh, there was a stray still in the back. Get out of there. Get in the pot. Now, the rest of your ingredients, you're gonna need a big bowl. As big a bowl as you can get. This is one of the biggest bowls I could find. So we're gonna see how this works. But I'm gonna take my chicken broth right in the bowl. I don't know if I can do this double fisted or not. We'll see. You get your 64 ounces of chicken broth in your bowl, and that's pretty much gonna fill up this one bowl. So we're gonna see how messy I can make the kitchen that I just cleaned up. That's right, y'all. I cleaned the kitchen today. Okay, anytime you want to stop now, I need a little room for the rest of this stuff. I think we'll be all right. If not, it's Addie's turn to clean the kitchen. I'm just going to take the rest of my ingredients, which is my basil, my garlic, my oregano. And then I'm going to take both of these cans of soup, which I probably should have put in there first. put them in the bowl. How many people are cringing right now at home going, oh my gosh, he's going to dump this everywhere? I know I am. There's one. And I should have grabbed a spatula. It's 
making all kinds of funny noises in there. Okay, those did not come out clean enough, so I'm going to magically make a spatula up here. There it is, and now we'll go and clean out our cans, because you want all, all that soupy goodness in there. And that does fill up a bowl. Oh my goodness. Here's one. There's the other. Aunt Lou's going to be watching this video and be yelling at me the whole time. You gonna make a mess in Chris's kitchen? At least that's what she sounds like in my head. Sounds a lot like Chris, huh? Alright, so now I'm just gonna gently swirl this together. Kind of break that soup up. Yeah. And I'll stir it together the rest of the way. But that's good, especially if I'm if you're using uh, freeze-dried garlic at least that get hydrated rather quickly. Now See if we can take that into our slow cooker. All right, most of it got in there. Well, it's not splashing out. That's all right. And now I'm going to save the salt and pepper for the end because the soup cans have got salt in them. I don't believe that was a low sodium chicken broth, so there's going to be salt in that as well. And then I'm pretty sure the gnocchi, or not the gnocchi, but the, uh, the tortellini is probably going to have some salt in it as well. So I'm going to let this cook up and then I'll worry about salt and pepper when I go to taste it. But that's all you want to do is get that all stirred up, break up that cream of mushroom soup so it's all even and incorporated, letting everybody get to know each other at the party. And now I'm going to wash my hands, clean up this kitchen yet again. I'm going to set this on high for two hours and we're going to come back and we're going to see if we've got some good soup. Only you're going to see it in three, two, one. And two hours have come and gone, and it's time to see if the soup is on. All right, let's see how we did here. Well, it's definitely bubbling. Look at all that gnocchi right there. You can see where the cream of chicken is all kind of bubbled up to the top, so I'll give that a little stir. Or the cream of mushroom, rather, is all kind of bubbled to the top there. We'll mix that all back up. Oh, it is steamy, steamy, steamy. <gasps> Hi. Right. Let's try that again. Look at that. Oh, yeah. This house smells so good right now. You can definitely smell the garlic and the other spices in there, the oregano and the basil. But now it's time to see just how good Aunt Lou's soup really is. I'm betting it's good. Okay, so I've got my salt and pepper on standby over here. And we're going to get ourselves a little bit of that chicken. Of course you got plenty of that tortellini in there. I'll try to get a few more pieces of chicken in there. Here we go. Lots of broth. Mm. I'll tell you what, if it tastes half as good as it smells, I'm, I'm in for a treat right now. This smells so good. I know it's going to be super hot because that just, just got done. In fact, I'm going to split one of those tortellini in half. Because I know hot cheese is something that you don't really want to burn your mouth. We're going to try this without salt and pepper first. Mmm. Mmm. Almost forgot about the garnish. And that is, you want to take a little bit of Parmesan cheese. Just to garnish on top of your soup. So we can get some of that out of there. Of course, it's snowing all over my counter. You'll have that if you have me cook for you. And I am going to take just a wee bit of salt and put on top of that and a little bit of pepper. But again, it just depends on what's going on in your house. If you want to salt ahead of time, if you think you know how much you want, have at it, go crazy, do what you want. But I'll take a little bit of that Parmesan cheese in there with a little bit of salt and pepper. And then we're gonna try this again. There's my other half of that tortellini. And a good chunk of that chicken thigh. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That is amazing. That took about five minutes to put together. It took two minutes to cook. I miss you, I'm gonna come see you. And literally for these cold days, this is chicken soup for the soul, y'all. Check out this tortellini right here. Let me see if I can grab one. 
They come out really, really soft. And then you bite into them and you get this huge, immense flavor of cheese. Mmm. That would be really good with some carrots and some celery if you want to add some veggies in that. Maybe some green onion. But I'm telling you right now, for the cold days ahead, this is a good warm soup that will definitely warm the bellies of your family. It's going to make a lot of smiles happen. It's definitely making me smile right now. So make this. And also, if you have not become a member of the Crock Posse, we don't know what you're waiting for. Go down there below and click that little button that says subscribe. And boom, you're a member of the Crock Posse. And if you want to know as soon as we put up a new video, make sure and click that little bell next to it that we call the ding -a -ling, And that lets YouTube know that you want to see our videos right away. And whatever you all do, laugh often. Eat good food and speak life. Good job, Aunt Lou. Good job. Mm. I just stepped on that other piece of tortellini. <laughs> if you want to see the latest, click on the left right here. If you feel like subscribing, click on the right, my dear. And if you think we're funny, enough to send us money, click the Patreon.